And welcome to this match number two of the tournament. Let me tell you something, folks. It has been a battle. It has been back and forth. There has been a lot of rubbing and a lot of tugging. You could say this match has been a real rub and tug. It's just gone back and forth. And one of the most intense matches I have seen since the 1983 Ultimate Roller Derby Championship, which was basically a rub and tug battle as well, literally. friend here is right he's really putting up a tribute that is one of the top announcers in the business right now and he currently is one of the best on rink performers when it comes to announcements So we have an uh, all-star celebrity cast in the arena this afternoon for match number two. And this score has gotten out of control. It was very tight in the beginning, but then it blew up out of nowhere. I tell you, when these when these gals start stepping on the roller wheels and they're determined for victory, they can really pull through and overcome all sorts of ad adversity. That's a rope without the tug on that one. And let's give these girls a little break. And just a few seconds to just chill out, relax, and regroup. Yeah, there's no doubt about that name, Hunky Dory. She has been around these rinks for a long time, racking up a lot of points. I mean, at this point, we need someone, a true leader, to come in and just take over. That hunk of door can lay out a dirty move or two to get to the head of the pack. Oh, and there's a nasty, nasty wipe out. Get a lot of rug burns and road rash from those things if you don't have those knee pads on. So make sure you have the top quality roller derby equipment to get you through all those nicks and rashes that you can get by making a full body skid on one of these 
concrete floors. And these girls are sure working up a sweat, which reminds me, we are almost running out of time. This match is getting out of hand, and these girls are going to work up an awful appetite after filling out this round. Which reminds you can go to Bobby Burritos up the street here. Got a special getting two burritos for one ninety dollars or two can dine for five ninety nine. You get yourself three burritos each and four packages of hot sauce. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Oh boy. And just around and around she goes. Yeah, it reminds me of the, one of our sponsors, Bobby Burrito. But it reminds me of old Sloppy Joe at my Sloppy Joe night at my house. I'm going ho through a whole whole new program at Bobby Burritos where they're trying <laughs> where they are trying to encourage people to be more envi environmentally friendly with their bathroom with use of toilet paper so it's recommended you only use one square per outing one square of toilet paper per outing to try to save a bit yeah it's a great concept It doesn't work for Sloppy Joe Night over at my house. Yeah, unfortunately, you go through the square, a roll, the two, two pillowcases, and a bed sheet. This match is really getting out of hand right now. Once that scoreboard goes over 100, you go right back to square one there. And we have some of the top officials in all of roller derby here tonight. Tank and T-Bone lead the squad. Honorable mentions to the rest of them and the rest of the staff who has done an amazing job on this entire tournament. Let's get ready for the jam. Here we go. This will be the final round. That was a dirty play. This is an all-female roller derby. We all remember that event back in 1989 when it was co-ed. And there was all sorts of different names, but the big controversy went up when, uh, well, it actually occurred at the grocery store when one of the females grabbed Robin Hood by the bag and one of the, and, uh, one of the males grabbed Andrew Mama by the box and that was it. And that's when co-ed ended right after that controversial event. And this is it. Final score. 41-124. 
let's get a little bit of sportsmanship and they do get along it's not like the old days where it was all rashing and bashing nowadays the competitors are really cheerful and show true sportsmanship as you see them all get along let them do a little victory lap Let them have their fun. We've come a long way in this sport, and we are looking at some of the best competitors right now in all of roller derby. And they earned it. No doubt about it. One more time, thank you for watching this tournament once again and tune in for the next matchup.